Hey there. So I have a need to update the firmware on my wand. So I thought this might be a good chance uh, to go through some of the uh, process for that. Uh, starting off, uh, what I have here is a, a laptop that has the GitHub uh, desktop application installed. So I can download the uh, code for the pack and the wand. And I have the Arduino IDE, uh, currently version uh, 2.1.1. Uh, there are some instructions uh, on the uh, on the GitHub page that explains there are some libraries that need to be downloaded. Uh, I'm not going to cover that here, but uh, basically you would uh, just search for those, uh, install them, and that basically solves the prerequisites for being able to compile this code. Uh, one other thing that we'll need is a USB cable, at the very least, uh, for the pack. I believe in the kits, uh, you will be getting a, essentially a USB serial cable. Uh, basically it's a USB to UART uh, connector. It basically has a built-in chip uh, that will do the serial conversion. Uh, for the wand, that is a little more, uh, a little more difficult. Uh, there's a lot of space constraints in here, so the size of the typical USB cables is uh, going to be prohibitive from uh, even coiling it up inside of the wand. So uh, in my particular case, what I did was I added a USB port. I cut a small hole into the uh, base of the wand. You can kind of see it there. And this is a micro USB cable uh, plugged into a port. It's basically a little uh, six inch extender, so the cable uh, goes through, coils, and then uh, pops up right near the uh, controller board, and that has a FTDI uh, chip. So it's basically the same one that's recommended for flashing the uh, wave trigger boards, so I happen to have it available. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive, and it's worth having, uh, for me at least, I permanently installed it, so I have a small uh, pigtail, and I'll show that in a uh, Part of an installation video that I'm working on. A uh, little pigtail that goes from the UART port on the new controller to the FTDI chip and then simply uh, plugs into a micro USB uh, connector. So that's how I that's how I do these sort of updates to my wand after I've uh, put it back together. Uh, one of the things you'll need to do, uh, probably at least the first time through, uh, you will have to select the board and port. So once a board is successfully connected, it will show up as a uh, serial port. In this, in this case, uh, it shows up for my computer as COM4 serial port USB. And if the board is not automatically selected, you simply just need to look for Mega because this is based on the Arduino Mega 2560 uh, platform. It's a AT Mega chipset. So make sure that is selected, and that's basically the prerequisites uh, for, for compiling this. So as long as that board and that uh, COM port are selected, what, you can, what you'll then do is you'll open the uh, nano, uh, Neutrono wand, uh, .ino file. That will open up all of the other .h files. Uh, if you have any customizations that you want to make to your wand, you would do that in the configuration.h only. There are built-in comments that explains what each of the settings and options do. Um, if there's a variable number uh, that can be chosen, uh, there should be some explanation as to, you know, if you want to change that number, what does that do? Uh, for some cases, it may speed up the cycle of the lights. Uh, for others, it affects the number of lights uh, in the sequence, which uh, can have an effect, uh, like if you use a different, uh, for the pack at least, if you did use a different ring light size, uh, you would adjust the number of LEDs uh, that you used so that the software understands um, how many total lights are in the sequence. Anyways, the process is pretty simple. Once, once you're connected to the controller board and it's installed, uh, you just press the upload button, which is the top left corner here. Press upload. It'll do a compile. Uh, if it doesn't compile, it won't upload. So if you forgot a library, uh, it'll pretty much tell you <laughs> as much. When it starts actually doing the upload, you'll know it because the event light will flicker, which is a nice uh, indication that something's going on. 
All right, and that's it. Now, one thing to know, as long as there is power flowing into uh, any of the USB connections, whether that's the board on the uh, wand, the board on the pack, or you're supplying battery power, there is, um, it does, uh, USB will supply sufficient voltage uh, from any of those points because basically all the po positive uh, connections are shared, all the negative connections are shared. The only thing you won't get is uh, audio from your pack and that's because the audio system, uh, what we've uh, recommended uses a 12 volt system to run the amplifier. So at the most, we're powering all the uh, audio uh, built into the wand. We're powering the wave trigger, but we don't have enough juice to power the uh, speakers. So this is a nice way to do a quick bench test just to make sure that the wand and the pack are working correctly by basically leaving it plugged into USB power. And you can flip your switches, double check everything works. And we're good in this case. So that concludes a brief introduction on how to uh, connect uh, to your computer after uh, you've, you've installed the uh, devices, how to flash an update, uh, at least to the wand. Pack is pretty much similar. And, uh, and away you go with updates.